Hey what's going on guys, Mookie back here again, and look who it is, Centaurus Pyre, as always just stood around the monastery, That's that makes like, I think the third video that he's been here, and r right now it's, it's 8am, and it's, like I can log on at 5am, 7am, 8am, and he's always here, I mean, yesterday was Christmas day, he was stood here that morning, today is the day after Christmas, he stood here, so let's, he's kind of a legend now, which, I told him in the chat, every time I do a video, he's always there, so. And people in the comments seem to know who he is as well, so I, from what I gather, he's he's always around here for some reason. I'm not quite sure why, but... Uh, it's his life, I guess. <laughs> and he's always talking about the most random stuff as well. Like, he was just talking about taking his clothes off there. Oh, well. Anyway, in this part, we're going to be doing the... Well, we've only got a few more of the Headmaster quests to do. So let's go ahead and see which one is next. I think the Ranger. Yeah, Headmaster Greiko. Okay, interesting. Okay, Greiko is a looks and bound to us only by his sense of duty. Also, I imagine he would have flown our little coop by now. He's a good fellow and an excellent Ranger. Seek him out and. Okay. So, got to go talk to Headmaster Greiko now. Now, like I said, yesterday was Christmas, which was. He was decent. I didn't really do much. It was kind of a quiet Christmas. I uh, just spent, spent it at home. Oh, also, I recorded I recorded a Guild video yesterday. I got that uploaded, and then I went ahead and recorded a Minecraft video. And my wife ended up deleting the video off the desktop, thinking I'd already uploaded it. So that kind of sucked. But I guess I'll have to record it and explain what I did in that video. Anyway, Headmaster Grico is right here. So greetings. Yes, I can train you in the ways of the Ranger. You'll learn to tame beasts to do your binding, to lay traps and make preparations to enhance your arrows. In short, you'll learn to be one with nature and use her powers as though they were yours alone. But this is not a choice to be taken lightly. Rangers must hone primordial survival instincts that have lain dominant for, for generations. This means living in perfect harmony with nature. Sujin, my assistant, will provide you the initial training to help you to achieve this. Look for him in Sunko Vale. Okay, so let's go ahead and equip our ranger skills. So we have. Power shot, which is 25 damage attack. Uh, Charm Miner, which is one that charms animals, obviously. Uh, Resurrection Signet. And Troll insu Insugent Insuant. Um, for 30 seconds you gain health regen. So that's that's pretty decent. Not 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 too much complaint about there. So let's go ahead and get our little henchman. Like I said, I'm gonna be doing these quests, the ones that are just around the monastery after I've done the headmaster ones. Uh, so we need a quick shot, we need a healer. Whoops, I didn't even get the quick shot, there we go. And I'll go with the spirit, go with Ace on. Kind of change things up a little bit here, and then we'll be off into Sunco Vale once again. He probably gave me a bow there that I should equip, so let me go ahead and look at that. Okay, let's see, so I've got... There, starter bow, so I'm going to equip that since we're doing the ranger stuff. Uh, whereabouts is he on the map? Okay, so he's over there, so I'm going to head down this way. And hopefully it's not too difficult. I don't quite remember what you do. Maybe you have to charm an animal. I'm not certain on that. But uh, we're, we're about to find out now, so... We shall see. Okay, he's not too far away. This big-ass cow would move out of the way. Oh, he's just going to stand there. Okay. Dumbass. Okay, so it should just be it should just be up here now. Look at these mountains. So yeah, after, after this I will have the Mesmer uh, Headmaster quest and that'll be it done with. That'll be all the, the little starting quests and I'll probably be close to level 10. Like I said, I want to go to the arena real quick so I can explore that area just in case I do decide to go for the the um the achieve the title that that means you have to explore the whole map. I've got is it cartography or something like that? Maybe, maybe that's WoW. Maybe I'm getting mixed up with World of Warcraft. Cause I know, I've not played WoW in quite a, quite a long time, but I could be getting mixed up there. Anyway, here's Sujun. Let's see what he's he's got to say. What is that purple? Oh, it's a... I've never seen that before. What the hell? Hey, Master Graiku sent you to me. Well, I was just about to go, go out collecting gold to save the endangered blue s scale. But I suppose a new student takes precedence. We had better get started on your training, then, so I can get back to it. Those blue scale will not save themselves. Mookie players, I'm so glad you are here. 
I've just learned that live rabbits are being used as bait by a hunter who wishes to capture a yeti. As if this were not horrible enough, it seems that the scent of the rabbits is attracting all sorts of other creatures which are attacking travellers on the road nearby. I need you to help me free the rabbits before they or anyone else gets hurt. Okay, that seems like a decent quest. <laughs> free, let me kill this capper. But he gave me some more skills as well. Let me kill this now and look over them. Okay, so we got... For 8 seconds you have 75 chance of... Oh, to block it. That's pretty cool. At skill, you, you heal your animal. And trolling strength. For 30 seconds you gain health regen. Okay, so that's, that's decent enough. So I've got to talk to him again. Well, well, a new student. It's wonderful to meet you. I'm Sujin and will help to train you in the ways of the ranger. Are you Canthan? No matter. We are all ceasing in the eyes of God. Now we're... Okay. Hurry, we have got to free those poor rabbits before they get eaten. Oh, the road is unsafe for travelers. Okay, let me get the five coins that I just got here. There we go, so now we'll, we'll head off. Oh, we're getting attacked by this thing. What is this thing? I've never seen this before. Okay. I think that's a Winter's Day thing, the tonic. I, can't, I keep clicking on the tame animal skill by accident. Go ahead and pick this. Yeah, it's, it transforms me into a Gren. Into a Gretch, they call it? Grench, okay. Transforms me into a Grench. So I might might mess around with that a little later on. We've only got one of them. I did have a few tonics in my chest, but I, I think I made a video that I set to private a, a while back, back when I didn't have this microphone. And I actually used some of my tonics that I only had one of, so I probably had quite a lot. Let me free this. Free this poor rabbit. Anyway, the next one's over here, so... Off we go. Oh, there's a lot of red dots around here. There's... I don't know what they could be. They're just... Oh, they're just Kappa. It's, it's attracting Kappa for some reason. I mean, let me try and unlock this one. Do you actually see the rabbit running out? Let's see. Oh, you do? He's there. <laughs> That's kind of cool. <laughs> yeah, he's running off. He's right there. Does he just hang around or what? Because he's, he's there now. Wait, why does this cost me to... Let me get this staff. Do I talk to him, maybe? Or do I have to- I have to kill the Kappa, I guess. Yeah, hungry Kappa. So there we go. Yeah, you see the rabbit run out and he like runs for miles, so... <laughs> that's kinda cool. Uh, anyway, where's the next one? Okay, so he's just down here. There it is. Free another little rabbit from the hungry kappa. Is there hungry? Okay. I guess they come out when you open the cage. Because these are just regular, regular kappa right now. Okay, I'm going to steal that. I like how Sujin's just following us. Now let's open the cage up. We have done it. All the rabbits have been freed. I feel warm and fuzzy inside. <laughs> I didn't see that rabbit come out, but oh well. Well, that was a day's work. Well well done. You should feel very proud of yourself, Mookie Plays. You're a true hero. You have done well so far, but your training is far from complete. I'm sorry to see you go, but I'm afraid you must I must send you on your to your next trainer. Look for Zoe in Kenya Province. Her appearance and gruff demeanor is off-putting to some, but like all of us, she's special in her own way. Good luck. Okay. So let's, we've got to go track down Zoe, which... Oh, we're going to climb the mountain again. We know what that entailed. The Crimson Skull there. But we know our little shortcut now, so... We know our little shortcut, so we can easily deal with that. Um, and I'm going the wrong way, but I think I can go... Yeah, I can go down here. Yeah, I've never been this way before. So I'm hoping I can come down here. 
Yeah, I mean, it's, it leads into the mountain, so I can't see why I shouldn't be able to. What are these? Naga. Okay, so let's take these out. Level 2 Naga. There we go. Oh, are these are these guys? Yeah, they are. <laughs> let's pull the whole group in. Naga Vambrace and Naga. I like getting the hides because they're used for like. There's a certain quest I think in on the main island where he's looking for some. And I remember I was doing it back when I used to play Guild Wars, and it took me a while to get him because there's a beach. There's a beach. I think it's I think it's here. This beach here, and it's like the best place to find Naga and farm those pelts and stuff. And I was stood there for I want to say an hour, and I got like two of them. So whenever I see those, I'm going to go ahead and pick them up, just because I know they're kind of difficult to get. I'll just put them in my chest or whatever. What are you? Sensali Blood. Okay, that's him dead. We got the gold coins. Jeez, there's almost Naga down there. It's a bit crazy. But anyway, let's focus on our task at hand here. There's some more of these. They're kind of like Talon Silverwind, the Tengu. I don't know if they're the same species or what. They're just part of a different tribe or whatever. Anyways, let's go this way. I've got another one. level 5. Okay, now I think this is the way to go. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I can head up this way. What is that? That is Shrine of Mot. Okay, we've been there before, right? I'm sure we have. Shrine of Mot. That's from a, um, what's the other, the Dragon Festival. There's a quest there then. I definitely remember that, because the guys are like, because obviously the Dragon Festival, after the first one, it's just them reenacting the the event, so there's a guy there reenacting what happened there. Which is pretty awesome, but we'll have to wait till July, I think it is, for the Dragon Festival. But I'll just be doing that and obviously I'll be level twenty by then, so we'll be able to we'll be able to partake in everything. But here we are now, here's the here's a little instance into what is it? Kenya province, okay. I'm still getting Kenya province and Panjang Peninsula mixed up. Let's head out here. And we'll see where Grik was. I know he's at the foot of a mountain somewhere. I do remember kind of where he is. Okay, so he's, he's that way. He's going the completely wrong way. And yeah, he's really close. He's literally just at the bottom of this little path here. Which I think this is the Pass of Tomat. I'm not sure. Remember I saw those signs labeling it. I think this is that area. Yep, Tom oh Tom Art Pass, not the pass of Tom Art. Oh well. <laughs> Close enough, I guess. Anyway, here he is. Zo. Or she, it's a female. You're late. We will begin your training promptly. For months I've been training to trap a particularly elusive Yeti. I have set rabbit traps to lure him, but I find the traps broken and the rabbit's gone. Perhaps together we can do. Oh, so she set the rabbit traps. Perhaps together we can do what I have been unable to do alone. To suggest, I suggest you take some time to review the skills I'm about to give you. When you're ready to go, speak with me again. Okay. So she's given us read the wild, which is preparation of 24 seconds. Your arrows move twice as fast. That's pretty cool. When flame trap is triggered every second. Okay. So, yeah. Call me Zoe. I will be your trainer. I'd much rather train than talk. So let us get to work. What would like to study first? I hope the Yeti is not escaped while you were busy daydreaming. Come, let's go and find the beast. So let's follow it. What's she doing? She, tr she gets stuck there or what? She's tracking, I don't know. But uh, obviously it's the, the little Yeti cave we saw across here that we saw last time when we were getting those plants for the... Uh, ritualist? I think ritual? I don't know. Probably getting that completely mixed up. I noticed some tracks nearby. I think it is close now. Who's this? Oh, it's a collector. My fi. We're going in here. 
Oh, that's not the cave, that's another like, old path. I don't know where that cave was then. There it is, attack. Where? Over there? Okay. Yeah, I should use this. Level 10. And we got him. So now what you want? You might just make a good ranger someday. You did well back there. It is time for you to return to the monastery to meet with Master Togo. Okay, so that's the ranger done with, so that was that was pretty fun actually, taking out a big yay. But now we must return to the monastery and see if this guy is still here, Centaurus. But yep, of course he is. Or which one is he? Is he still here? <laughs> there he is. <laughs> oh good lord, let me just say hey to him. I always say hi to him when I walk past. See, I think this. No, actually, he sends. Yeah, I'm getting that mixed up. Um, let me let me go to the arena while I remember because I'm, I'm almost level nine. So let me go there now so I can. Because you can't even like get to this area without. Like once you're level ten, you can't go to this little. I don't think it's you don't have to do the arena. Arena itself, like the actual battles, but you just gotta come here because you can't get to this area right here if you're over level 10, so you gotta like, explore it all, you know, if that makes sense so I think I'll just run around the perimeter of it so I just get it all <laughs> oh god yeah, I think I yeah, I think, I think I've got it all there see, this is like a beginner arena, so you're not gonna wanna come in here when you're level 20, so they, I guess that's why they prevent you from doing it there's like scenery down there as you can see. There's a river. And this little dragon statue. But anyway, that's that done, so let's, let's head back to the monastery. Just wanted to get that out of the way because like I said I'd probably forget and I'd be level ten and I would be going for that title and I would wouldn't be able to do it, so. Okay, so let's let's head back up to Master Togo and finish this off. And the next time we just have the mesmer to do, and that's it for the for the beginner quest. And then the, in the part after that, I will most likely do the quests that are in Xingzi Monastery. And also Togo will send it off somewhere, so we'll have to do that as well, obviously. But I'll sort of do two birds, one stone, or more like four birds, one stone. Because I think they all lead you out the same way, so you're not sort of going out of your way to, to get those done. But for now, let's talk to Togo. Okay, sp Okay, so we're gonna set this, and we're almost level nine. So next time when we come out, we're gonna be doing the mesmer, and I'll probably record it straight after this bonus because I just want to get them done with. So I'll I'll get it uploaded and out of the way. So as always, remember to rate, comment, subscribe, and thanks everyone for watching these videos. I'm getting decent support for these, and uh, yeah, that's gonna be it for this. So until next time, see ya.